What's uh, Brian Hughes up to? I don't know. I haven't talked to Brian. I mean, I, I, I saw his... So he's not returning your phone calls either? No, no. I, I, <laughs> his, his mailbox is full, I can tell. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to assure you that I have a spot open next Thursday morning that I'm no. saving for him if he'll only show up here in Austin. No, I, I didn't want to imply that I tried to call him. I just uh, was saying I hadn't heard from him. Yeah. I, I did uh, see his, um, I guess, a little short letter on, on Election Day. Have you signed the pledge card for the speaker? <laughs> I thought, uh, you know, I'm, I'm confused. I thought there's groups that say, you know, don't pledge, and then the, unless it's their pledge. Are you are you supporting the speaker? Yeah, I'm supporting the speaker over Brian Hughes or anybody else. <laughs> yes. Are you more interested in Brian Hughes being speaker than Joe Strauss? Well, right now, based on the 2011 session, I'd like to know what the difference would be. <laughs> you really think there'd be no difference between Brian Hughes and Joe Strauss as speaker? Let's rewind the clock. Sanctuary cities cut off debate because Chairman Solomons was tired and Strauss led him. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's look at, you know, the Mother's Day meltdown. Lock the door and put a call on the House uh, to suspend the rules yeah. that are written and passed by the Republican supermajority to pass a tort reform bill. Uh, you know, opening bill on the House floor, sonogram. I mean, what, what, what else is there? I mean, I, I'm not a Republican. But I, I do know a few of those wedge issues, and I do right. read the Republican state party, you know, d you know, creed. Uh, there's not much left. But, you're, but Representative Martinez, face you're, you're also very smart politically. Can you get a better deal than Joe Strauss? <clears throat> Is there a way politically for you to get a better deal? Trey Martinez. Is he not the Democratic <laughs> speaker you all have been asking for? <laughs> <laughs> the Joe Strauss of 2009 you know, work really hard to work with everybody. And some folks got a little bit of everything. Now, we did have about 15 billion of stimulus money to spend around, you know, so that was pretty easy to pump the president and take his money. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the session of 2011 was a disaster if, if, if you didn't notice. Well, uh, and, uh, and if we're gonna go back to that in 2013, yeah. I don't care who the speaker is. Just give me the rules, give me the rule book, and give me my seniority and I'll be fine. But my constituents are gonna suffer. Uh, and so I cannot tie my boat to any speaker or speaker candidate right. until I know who I'm going to get. Have you had any conversations with Brian Hughes either now or at the end of last session complaining about Strauss and plotting the potential overthrow of Strauss? <laughs> I have not had a conversation with Brian, with Brian Hughes now. I mean, I'm sure I've talked to him throughout the session, uh, you know, uh, he, but we've never talked about it. So this. Democrats, in a broad sense, have not encouraged Brian Hughes to get in to put, to put the screws to the speaker? The last person who challenged the speaker you know, talked a big game, then gave a speech and withdrew in 2011. Uh, you know, and, and the time before that, you know, Jim Pitts talked a big game, shot everybody, and, you know, we saw what happened there. Uh, I don't think that there are Democrats saying, okay, we need a Republican speaker, we need a speaker race. We know this, we're going to be at least 48. Uh, and the way things are going on the Republican caucus, it looks like they're fractured. And the question that Joe Strauss has to ask himself is, what direction am I going to go in? Right. Am I going to continue to placate the hard right that doesn't like me, that does, wants to do everything to hurt me? Or am I going to try to say, hey, Democrats, you know what? I'm not a Democrat. I'm a moderate Republican. I'm a business Republican. I'm about progress. And yes, you can have some things. Yes, you can play. But understand that I'm a Republican first. He hasn't said that either. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is he's moved completely to the right, uh, no matter, despite you know, the fact that they don't seem to accept him. Uh, and and I, I've said, take your leadership Republicans and take the Democratic caucus and let's put both extremes on the sideline for the minute and let's just pass a few things. Let's fix some things and then let's take about 30 days. Let's take 30 days of the entire 140 and let's fight like hell. And let's just get after it. Morning, noon, and night and let's get it out of our system and let's spend the other 110 fixing things. And when that day happens or when that speaker makes that commitment, you know, you'll see me glued to that person's side.